So I've checked everything, the whole house and everything rest. And this is the only thing we can do for now. Just solve this really tough puzzle. I tried a few times in the last video, but it didn't turn out good. So let's try again. I have only 10 moves as you see from here and I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let's, um, I don't know, these. I have five more and there's no way I can do this. Nah, not this time. Reset. Okay, now we're making some progress. Damn it, that was really close. That was really close. But I know now that I'm on the right track. Um, no, I, I again messed something up. I just know it. Definitely. Oh gosh. Here we go again. Yet again, no chance. Gosh, only three moves more are needed. I need to be smarter this time. If I drop these down, it means that this one will fall here and I can't connect all all of these balls, orange balls, but let's see hmm no, I again did it did something wrong, obviously Okay, now let's see. Um, nope. I'm out of moves. Damn it. Let's go like this. Let me try something. Can't connect those. Okay, now. Oh, no, there is no way I can. Uh uh. Again, something wrong. I don't see what. really trying here. You can connect all these blue balls and we're gonna do just that. Hmm. Oh, not again! Look at that! Look at that! Damn it! No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no. No, it was wrong. Um, why did I do this first? Okay, three more, th three moves used. Now let's see. If I do this and this. Ah. No. I have to do blue bolts first. Okay, now let's see. Five more moves. Five more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. <sighs> Maybe I should drop these down and not try to connect with all of them. Okay. Okay, this this is good. Three moves. Yes, finally. Sounds good. Should I be expecting you this evening? No, I've already made plans with my wife. Maybe you should cancel them and come join me instead. Oh, they were having an affair. How sweet. I've already blown her off twice in this week. Just start to suspect something's going on. That's a shame. Okay, I'm free tomorrow. Sounds good. Yep, having an affair. That's more to this case than we thought. Maybe Hoyes was shredding more than just one car. <laughs> Maybe more just than just a contract, but a relationship. We found an upper-handed Dotson. The precinct, finally. Oh, hey, Miss Dotson. We have some questions we'd like to ask you. And we'd like to know if you killed <laughs> Mr. Hoyce. We found a file of Ma uh, Samuel Mayer's reviews in your apartment. What was the, your obsession with him? He was not a big fan of my previous work. I was worried that he had uh, that what the bad reviews of my new book would do. Why keep a file like that in your apartment? I wanted to show it to my publisher a proof, as proof that Maris was trying to destroy my career. Okay. You were having an affair with Werner Hoyce? Oh, were you having an affair? It's a question. Uh, we found some rather incriminating text messages between the two of you. Well, I guess there's no sense of keeping a secret now. Yes, we were engaged in a romantic relationship. We have been uh, seeing each other for some time now. I don't think it was going to last, though. Vernon was getting nervous about that his wife would find out, and I was worried that he might reveal something that would damage my career. Why would the news of an affair be the... Uh, that detrimental to your career. Are you kidding me? I'd look like a hack that had to sleep with the publisher to get a contract. A reputation like that would be bad for business. I guess so. What is your relationship to Werner Hoys? We were colleagues, his company published my uh, romance novels and I just signed a deal to deal with something new for him. It doesn't look like thing, uh, things are going as well as you think. We found a contract you signed with Vernon and his shredder. That's impossible. 
We have been working on this far for months. There's no way he would just throw it that quickly. Hmm. Yeah, he just threw it away. Vernon Hoyce is dead. His body was found on the stage of Broadway Theater. What dead? That just can't be. I was supposed to meet him tomorrow. When is the last time you were in contact with Mr. Hoyce? Just last week, I stopped by his office to sign the contract. Okay. Now let's fix things up. No, seriously. This should come here. So, there we go. This is better. Samuel Mears and Vernon Hoyce were both killed in a manner that resembled scenes from literally classics. So because I'm a writer you think I killed them both. That's absurd. Not just a writer, but a writer with failing relationship, a shredded contract and a file full of bad reviews from a dead critic. That sounds like a writer with a real motive. This is preposterous. I'm not answering any more questions before I get my lawyer down here. I've never been so insulted in my life. What do you guys think? Are you buying her story? No, well, probably. She certainly has a motive for both homicides. Add in the fact that she's just jilted level and lover and I think there's a pretty good chance she's our killer. I don't know, she sounded pretty convincing to me, but I'm not sure I trust my own instincts right now. All these connections to the publishing industry have me a little off my game. Well, you might want to get back on your game because we just got another call. What? Another murder? Damn it. Another murder. Yep. Oh, an attempt at one anyway. Oh. The potential victim was found atop a downtown church bell tower she was discovered just minutes before she would have flung to her death. I want you to down there immediately. I've had enough of this maniac terrorizing our city. Okay, we're on our ways.